Since we're gonna be extracting a string from a string, we're gonna go ahead and start with sentence. If I wanted to use slicing to slice out of the sentence, I would have to know exactly which character or which position I'm looking at in order to slice that data out. That would be really annoying. I don't wanna sit there and have to count every single letter in every single space, especially if I have a really big amount of text. So the really cool function I can use for this is extract. I can use extract before, extract after, and extract between. So first let's go through using extract before. Extract before has two different input arguments. My first input argument is the variable where my data is stored. So where is all that string, that text, the sentence, whatever it is that you're looking at. The second input argument is going to be where I want to extract from. Now I can put the number just like I did with the slicing, which again is kind of archaic. I don't want to have to know the exact position of where I want to slice it from. Unless, of course, that is my actual goal. If I know I always want the first three letters or four letters, I can always say extract before four or five. But again, if I'm doing that, why am I not just using slicing? I don't know. This would be more useful if you know what sentence or what context, or if you're looking for a space, everything before the first space, everything before the first period, anything like that, that would be why you would want to use extract before. So in this case, I said extract before the first space. And notice by default, it just does the first space. If you want to know after the second space, you have to provide a little bit more context. So like the letter or the sentence or the word that comes after that second space. And in the same sense as extract before, I also have extract after. So instead of extracting everything before that second input argument, I'm gonna extract everything after that second input argument. It's still the same thing, two input arguments. The first one being the sentence, text, whatever it is that you're looking at. Second one be what you're extracting after. So again, you can put a number in there, but if you're doing that, you might as well just be doing slicing. This is actually really more useful if you know what string you're looking for, you want all the text after. Lastly, I have extract between. This one's a little bit more complicated than the other two. Instead of two input arguments, I would have three input arguments, or I can also have five input arguments. So first let's talk about the three input arguments. If I'm doing three input arguments, my first one is the sentence, whatever I'm looking for. The second one is going to be where I want to start extracting. And then the third one is going to be where I want to stop extracting. This may seem pretty intuitive, but it doesn't, it might not extract the way you think it's going to extract. So if I put a space and another space, then it's actually going to extract everything that's between two spaces. And that's probably not what I intended. I actually intended to get the middle sentence. If what I actually want is that middle sentence, I'm going to have to give a little bit more details instead of just space space, I have to put a little bit more context on there. So exclamation point space and then space, please, for instance. So now that I have those parameters, it understands, okay, I want all that data that's in between those two parameters. And it's not giving me a long list of here's all the words that occur between two spaces. So the other input arguments are either boundaries inclusive or boundaries exclusive. And it is kind of how it sounds. I'm either going to include for inclusive the parameters that I've set between, or I'm going to exclude the parameters that I set between. If I don't put those extra input arguments, the default is boundaries exclusive. So it's not going to include that text that I'm saying between these two parameters. Awesome, so now we have successfully used extract before, extract between, extract after. We used all these different extract functions for strings. And I have my three different parts of my sentence broken up into different variables. So you know how to use extract. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and play with it a little bit more, and I'm going to throw these different parts of my sentences into a cell array. And then I'm going to go ahead and randomize it. Now I'm just displaying these three different sentences in a bunch of different orders, because why not? Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out some of my other videos to learn more about different functions in MATLAB.